So this one's gonna focus on touch. Now we talked a little bit about it, but here's a more uh, in-depth breakdown. Touch is a, a combination of three different things, pressure, temperature, and pain. Um, even if it doesn't hurt, it's pressure, so it could potentially hurt. So we're looking at three layers, epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis, top, middle, bottom. Um, you're gonna have nerve endings through all of it, uh, but the, the further down you get, the more it's going to affect you. Um, we've got different types of receptors. We've got heat and cold, thermo. You've got touch. That's just, the, that's just touch, basic touch. You've got your uh, senses of pain, and then you've got your more pressure. So these two are going to be similar, but it's not going to be the exact same. Um, when you're looking at pressure, you're looking at neurons around the bottom of the hair. We have hair over all of our body. That is how we were made um, because of the receptors, the neurons down there. The temperature um, are right below the skin. So they're gonna be right here between dermis and the epidermis. That's the, the blue and red lines right there. Um, we've got pain. It's going to start at the top and it goes down through the pain receptors, the neurons, to the spine, to the thalamus, to the cortex. So it's all together. Um, and it's not that we don't feel pain. It's that we have changed our threshold for what affects us. Um, you can get um, pain meds to block and that is used mostly in like surgeries. Hopefully it's only going to be um, prescribed to you. And then again, we have the gait theory. Now it's um, scratching a different area, scratching a, a stuffed animal or making noises or focusing on something that allows you to forget the pain or move away from the pain. So it's not the focus of everything in front of you. You've got phantom limbs, which is a, a thing that happens. Your brain hasn't switched to allow you to think that, or the person who's done this hasn't um, hasn't switched to get rid of that limb. Now, uh, the best way I can explain this is if your hand wasn't there, your foot was wasn't there, your brain still thinks it's there. And the best Hollywood. Um, Representation of this is a Grey's Anatomy where Arizona doesn't have a leg and she literally asks somebody to stab her foot, um, her, her artificial limb, because she needs her brain to switch and realize that it's not there. Um, and it, it's also the idea, if you've ever seen those uh, party tricks on the street where you have your one hand is hidden and the person in front of you is touching both hands with a feather and then eventually gets rid of the real hand feather and is only petting, for lack of a better word, the fake hand. And you can still see or feel it because your brain has adapted to it. Um, and that's kind of this, it's an opposite uh, way to look at phantom limbs. Um, this is your ear. We're gonna, um, I know it's jumping around and I'm sorry, um, but if we're looking at it, we've got the cochlea. It looks like a little shell. Um, and then inside here, we've got the, um, the little tentacles that I was talking about last time. Um, it works with your ability to stand, to sit, to run, to play, all of those things. And if you've got water back in here, that's a problem and you have to get it, um, get it looked at because that creates the dizziness, that creates um, headaches, it can create barfing, uh, if that's a thing that happens. If I get really bad ones, that's what happens to me. Um, but it's it's this cochlea, and that's what you have to look at when you are can't stand up straight. If you are um, under the age of 21 and enjoying illegal things under the age of 21, this is a piece that will get messed up if you're not careful. Um, We've talked about this and congratulations.